So here is the mail for the project. He is obviously a visual VPI Exanthic and he is also 66% POS Het Clown. Hi guys, it's Rob from Raw Balls. We've got clutches hatching thick and fast now. We're going to take a look at a double het project, my Xanthic Clown project. Uh, for several years now, ARP has been trying to make a Xanthic Clown, and of course he had to start from scratch and make his own het. So we've had pairings of double het to double het, and inevitably what that means is that you produce visuals for one of the recessives which are possible het for the other and we're at that stage of the project now where we've been pairing visuals for clown that are pos het for exanthic or visuals for exanthic that are pos het for clown and my pairing this year was a couple of pos double het females uh, taking a punt there but paired to a visual exanthic who was possible het for clown and given that we haven't seen a visual double recessive exanthic clown I was hoping that at least my part of the project uh, given the odds that we've had and the number of clutches that I would be seeing a visual exanthic clown so let's take a look so here is the male for the project he is obviously a visual VPI exanthic and he is also 66% pos het clown you always reduce the odds when you use a visual of one or other of the recessive genes in your projects. Uh, get, having a visual that is het for the other gene is a great boost, but in this case we have a visual exanthic and he's only possible het for clown. And this is the female that we used, the first of two females, and she is 66% possible het clown, 66% possible het Exanthic. She was selected from a clutch that contained both visual clowns and visual exanthics. It was a het to het pairing or a double het to double het pairing. So I selected two females which are 66% pos het for both of the recessive genes and I picked this one because visually she looked different and I expected that she was going to prove out to be het exanthic because she has a very exanthic like pattern and her dorsal striping and coloration is very very dark so I was expecting to prove out that she was het exanthic there are always a few surprises along the way okay so here we are clutch six this is the possible double het exanthic clown to an exanthic visual possible het for clown male so we're looking for exanthics and we're looking for clowns and if we prove out both of these there is the possibility that we can get an exanthic clown but I'm not holding out too much hope we've got multiple pippers and they all look like normals to me so let's cut the clutch see what we got the first one came out yesterday it's a normal so let's move that to one side all but two of these have already pipped so let's get rid of that one that's the empty egg and cut this one which looks like another normal I think that's another normal cut this one Ooh, that's a clown. That is a clown. Ooh. Which means, I'd like to see the head on that, but that means that the male exanthic is het for clown and the female is also het for clown so we have a chance here I want to see an exanthic in these remaining eggs
that's another normal it's not looking good for the exanthic side of things but these are all 100% het exanthics that's another normal so it's not looking like the exanthic side of things has proved out unfortunately the male was a visual exanthic so I would have expected if the female was het we would have seen an exanthic by now and we haven't There's another normal. Is that a normal or is that a clown? Can't see the head on that one. Not sure about that. So at least the male has proved out. Xanthic head for clown. There's an interesting one. Not sure if that's another clown. Pattern looks unusual. We'll have to wait for these guys to come out. So, what have we actually proved here? Uh, we've proved that the female is more than likely not het exanthic, but we've proved that the male and the female are both het clown, and the male is a visual exanthic. So, that male is going to be extremely valuable. This last one is sticking his head out, that's a visual clown. And these are 100% het for exanthic. So another complete disappointment, the male, what, which was a visual exanthic possible het for clown, has proved out to be het for clown. And the female, which was possible het exanthic, possible het for clown, has proved out to be het for clown. Almost certainly not het for exanthic, since the male was a visual exanthic, we would have seen it. So we pop these back in the incubator until they come out. There we go, that's clutch number six. That's my first shot at a double recessive. So all these seven babies are now out, so you can see them all together. And let's just have a look at what we actually ended up with. So we actually ended up with three visual clowns thus proving that dad is het for clown and mum is het for clown since dad was a visual exanthic these are also 100 percent het exanthic so these are the ones that tell us what the parents were these are the ones that have the most value in terms of continuation of the project these are visual clowns 100% het exanthic which means that we reduce the odds or increase the probability of hitting the double recessive when we use a snake that has at least one side of the equation being visual so in this case visual clown so we got three of those and we got four normals now these are of course not normals uh, again these are 100 percent het exanthic because dad was a visual exanthic and because both parents were het for clown these are also 66 percent probable or possible het for clown so we have four snakes there that look like normals but are actually carrying a lot of hidden firepower so we got four of those so that's it as far as the project is concerned but I think I have a little bit more time to talk about another aspect of the hobby um, these snakes here are the ones that are going to be of value to us to continue the project we already have a mature female who is visual clown het for exanthic and we now proved that dad is a visual exanthic who is also het for clown so we have a future 
way forward we have a future path we may want to add to our pool of breeding snakes by keeping uh, maybe a female back or maybe a male I don't know it depends on what strategy we decide upon but it's more than likely that the bulk of these snakes are going to be surplus to requirements so here's a perfect opportunity to talk about what we are buying when we buy into a project such as this if you are a breeder and want into the exanthic clown project realize what these snakes represent they represent a shortcut they represent in my case two or three years worth of work and investment in ARP's case these snakes here represent possibly five years of work and investment growing snakes feeding snakes breeding snakes in order to produce these offspring so these offer a breeder who wants into the project a shortcut they offer a second or third generation snake and save maybe three years worth of project time in order to jump into the project midstream now what you need to be asking your breeder if you are buying into a project such as this is exactly what I've shown you in this video he needs to be able to tell you what the parents are he needs to be able to describe the offspring to you he needs to be able to explain to you what the snakes are actually carrying so that you understand what these snakes represent if you were for instance to buy this normal if you're looking for just a pet and you were to buy this snake it's just a normal right so it's maybe worth 20 bucks if you are a breeder and want into the exanthic clown project recognize what it is that they, these snakes represent and make absolutely certain that the breeder can make 100 percent clear transparent to you what these snakes contain so this snake is 100% exanthic and 66% het for clown. As a buyer, you need to understand what 66% het for clown actually means. Uh, the onus is on you to understand that. So it's essential to buy from a trusted breeder when you are buying snakes such as these. We tend to focus on price. We tend to focus on trying to save ourselves 50 bucks or 100 bucks instead of focusing on the important stuff what were the parents that produced these snakes what's hidden inside these snakes can you guarantee that this is 100 percent het vpi exanthic and it's 66 percent het for clown and that there is a chance that this may not prove out to actually be het for clown if you buy one of these guys recognize what it is that you're buying this is not just a visual clown it's not just a visual recessive this is carrying 100 percent het for exanthic recognize what that means recognize how much time and investment has gone into the project to get to this point if you are buying this snake these are all the questions that you need to be asking rather than trying to get 50 bucks off the price buy from a trusted breeder if possible a local breeder that you can go visit the facility you can go look at the snakes you can touch the snakes you can talk to the breeder about the parents about the siblings and about the project to date and he should be able to explain to you in any amount of detail that you want to reassure you that what you are buying is what he says they are these represent years worth of investment so there you go guys not a complete disaster in actual fact um, it shows a lot of the ups and downs of double recessive projects um, you win some you lose some and in this particular case pairing a visual exanthic possible het for clown to a possible double het female um, if we hadn't seen a visual double recessive um, the chances are that what we did see in the clutch we prove out nothing if everything was normal you would still be none the wiser which of the snakes was not the het uh, was it the female was it the male but in this particular case we did not get visual exanthic clowns 
but we did manage to prove out both the male and the female given the combinations that we got. What a surprise, the male did prove out to be het for clown, so he is exanthic het for clown, and the female proved out to be not het for exanthic, but she is het for clown, so I've now got another female het for clown, a mature breeder female in my racks, and I have proved out the male. The perfect partner for him next season would be to pair him to a visual clown that is het for exanthic, and hopefully by next year we will have the visual double recessive. So there you go, it takes a while, you play the odds, you win some, you lose some, there are ups and downs, but this outcome is not a total disaster uh, because we have actually proved out definitively what the male is, he will be extremely useful in the project for future seasons and we have the perfect female for him so it's more than likely that we will achieve the goal next season even if we didn't get it this year. You just keep plucking away, working the odds and sooner or later you will get your target double recessive. So hopefully next season, fingers crossed, we'll see that VPI Exanthic Clown double recessive and then we can start adding genes to the project. So thanks for watching, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.